combining our strength and power with innocence and purity, cosmic Christ consciousness. With a blue moon, the Aquarius gate and more coming up I have been working on finding out the real importance of all these things happening at this time. Last night I was reminded about a time I went to the Edgar Case Center. The first thing I did when arriving at the center was to participate in a test to see if you're able to see what they put in envelopes. I couldn't really get anything, the only thing I was able to see was a picture of a tree with a man, a lion and another animal. None of that was in the envelopes. But walking around the center I found a meditation room. In that room was a large picture of Jesus with a lion and lamb, the tree was in the background. The lion is standing for our own strength and power, the lamb is innocence and purity. Combined they give us the cosmic Christ consciousness. It gives us the opportunity to change our own experience in this reality and allows us to work from what many call the heart, but also the mind. Many times, when we work from the heart and that information needs to be relayed to the mind before we can take actions. There is a time delay in this that can be very confusing, and we delay our actions. The heart is about feelings and the right action or decision at that moment. The mind needs the information to give the final deciding voice to create the action. Now our mind can give us lots of problems and indecision as we know the feelings but translating the feeling into the final action or decision can be difficult. We need to train our mind to immediately be able to translate the feeling into action. But this action needs to be the right action for everyone, including ourselves, involved. For example, reacting to anger in an immediate action is something that is usually not beneficial for everyone, including yourself. This process of unification between the mind and the heart is exemplified by the lion and the lamb. We use our strength and power, the lion, in combination with innocence and purity, the lamb. This brings me to what I was thinking about before I was thinking about the meaning of the blue moon and the Aquarius gate, awakening. Many are awakening, and everyone is on different levels. Everyone is at a different level and each person will reach different levels. What most have in common is the feeling and need of serving others. Many will begin with a healing modality like Reiki, others will start with tarot card, some will already see and feel spirits, there are many ways to awaken. Yet at one point in time they will feel this need of service. Now this is where the need of service sometimes gets in the way of the needs of ourselves. Sometimes our own awakening. Most stay in the beginning stage as merging the spiritual realities with the physical realities is not always easy with all the outside influences going on. Our strength and power is sometimes misunderstood as the merging of mind and heart is not easy. Even the ones that feel they have awakened can have a hard time with this as most teaching talk about ego and letting go of ego. Just be love and light. The ego is our decision making but also our doubting mechanism. The trick is to have our mind understand from every perspective and choose the highest perspective. In this way not just living from the heart, but also capable of making decision from the heart with the most beneficial outcome for all from a spiritual perspective, not just a physical perspective. And taking care of the delay between the understanding by the mind of what the heart sees or knows to be the highest outcome and not just what it feels. It is always hard to explain our feeling, so the heart also needs to be able to communicate with the mind, and the mind needs to be able to translate what is in the heart to take the highest action possible. This is what all these dates in January and February with the blue moon in Leo, and the Aquarius skate are all about. The lion codes to build our strength and power to connect with Aquarius the water that stands for balance but also purity and innocence. The lamb. No matter where you are in your awakening, these are special dates for you to find that balance and to find some answers as well. It will allow you to take actions that are for your highest good but also for the highest good of all around you. To work from the perspective of the cosmic Christ consciousness, instead of just the human consciousness. Combining your strength and power, the lion, 
with the innocence and purity of the Lamb. A perfect combination to work from the heart-slash-mind cosmic Christ consciousness. Peter Margolis. January 30, 2018